Joe, congratulations. Frank, I'll come to you in a second. Joe, was it harder than you expected? Was he tougher than you expected? Yeah, he's a tough um, African lion, so, you know, all credit to him. And, uh, you know, it was a good fight. He hit me with some good shots, and um, I managed to kind of work him out and where to land and stuff. But, you know, he's still, he's still dangerous, like, so I had to, when I, I had to take my opportunity when I saw it. You ripped him apart with a left hook at the start of the six, then took him apart with the other shots. So I thought the stoppage was perfectly fine. But Joe, did he ever hurt you? Did, did he ever hurt the juggernaut? Yeah, I mean, ma ma mildly. I'm, I'm pretty tough as they, as they come. So, you know, pretty I weathered tough. the storm and fired right back. Sometimes, Joe, he was throwing those right hands. Everyone can see them in all the seats. But he seemed to catch you with them repeatedly. Was it because they weren't hurting you that much, or was he just coming at a surprise angle for you? Um, it's to do with technical skill and tactics and, you know, being able to ride shots, block shots, use my footwork. is like, you know, the sweet science of boxing. So I use that to great effect. And Frank, he's excited. He takes shots, he lands shots, he knocks people out. That's what heavyweights are meant to do, I've, isn't it? I've got to tell you, it's a very, very exciting heavyweight fight. There's no doubt about that. They both gave, gave everybody value for money, and it was a sensational finish. And, and I had no problem with the finish. What about you, Frank? No, I didn't. You, look, if you're taking shots and you're not throwing, throwing them back, referee has no alternative, and he was not throwing shots back. And what about you, Joe? What did Carlos say in the ring to you at the end about the stoppage? Uh, he didn't say, did say anything... Um, about the stoppage, but we were just having a, a chat, like, you know, because, uh, yeah, it was just, I was just, you know, talking, just talking to each other, like, paying our respects and stuff, because, uh, yeah, it's a good fight, he's a warrior, he's been in so many great fights and stuff, so, yeah, man, it's a good fight. Joe, do you watch back your fights afterwards? Do you watch them back and analyse things that you could have maybe done differently? Is that something that you do, Joe? Yeah, so when I get back to the hotel, I, I tend to watch, him back, watch my fights back and analyse my performance, see where I can improve, see where I got caught and, you know, learn from my mistakes. You know, if I get hit with silly shots, then, you know, there's something I can work on in the gym and keep on improving. And that's the only way to do it. So where now, Joe? What do you want? I've asked you this question for the last two and a half years. What do you want? Where do you want to be in six months, 12 months? Well, what I want is uh, AJ or Usyk. Frank, is it that simple, AJ or Usyk? The crowd wants it, he wants it. He's, he's the mandatory challenger. He's number one now. And obviously, AJ and Usyk again on in September. And then he becomes the mandatory challenger to the winner. And might there be 120 days before the fight? No, I'm not, he's the mandatory challenger. When they let that happen, they will decide. I don't know what, you know, Usyk's a mandatory. Yeah. So I think that's, although that's behind time, that's a mandatory. But I think what will happen, providing AJ wins and providing Tyson Fury wins, that they'll fight first, but then here, the winner will have to fight him. So that could be late next year. Joe. We'll see what happens. Or if one of them, if the title gets vacated, Joe then he fight fights. Yeah, that title. WBO. So. Joe, we've had all sorts of fights. The Dubois fight, which was a great fight, an intense fight. That tonight, you know, you took some shots, silly shots, you called them, and you come back. Does Joe Joyce need any more, any more tests before he gets close to either Usyk or Joyce? Does it? it no, I don't, I don't need any more tests. I've, um, I've, you know, picked the level that's up and strategically moved. So, you know, I've started at the deep end and I'm, I'm carrying on that way on a steep uh, trajectory, trajectory. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready now. And you're still enjoying it, Joe? You're still enjoying it? You're still enjoying being Yeah, I love way. boxing. Boxing's my sport and uh, I'm doing well. I'm loving it. And, uh, it yeah, no great. we're putting on some great shows. I want to tell you what they love you. Frank, when's he out again? Let's, let's just cut straight well, to the chase. Of, you know, he's, listen, he's only had, when you think about it, as a pro, he's only had 13 fights. 13 fights. And he's in the position he's in, which is brilliant. He'll be out again, providing he's, he wants to be, he'll be out again sometime in October. If that's what he wants, that's what he has. Yeah, the journey continues. What about the fans being back? Oh, it's great. All the fans. Hey, hey. Frank and Joe, thank you very much. Paulie, it's like time travel, time travel, Paulie.